Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna make a small review of a Creator 3001. Uh, this is an OVD2 scanner that can also uh, read and delete codes. At the beginning when I purchased this, I uh, thought I was gonna be able only to read codes, but I'm really surprised when I start to read the specification you see right here. Feel free to pause the video and read a little bit uh, the specification yourself uh, try to make my video as clear as possible that you can read it uh, as you can see right here it can pull and identify being numbered information of the vehicle as long as the vehicle has that, that uh, function or capability and also can test the oxygen sensors uh, and it also can make the IM which is the emission test uh, you can run the test and also place uh, live data so you can see what's going on with your engine that's a good thing that's a plus that's good enough for the price you know i didn't expect to bring all this stuff so it's pretty simple it only comes with a with a small instructions like the start a quick start guide as you can see right here explain you uh, where the ovd ports are and everything so this is the scanner itself uh, as you can see right here we have the usb cable right here the one that you of course in the quick start guide say that you can update so they're gonna keep uh, making updates for this product which is good so it has a built-in OVD connector it has a, a you know a, ta um, a cup you know like you, you boy to get dust in, in there so it has we have we have over here our USB connection port uh, and now it's time to test it. So as you can see, I already plug it in the car. So this is powered through the OVD port. So as soon as you plug it, as, as it start, everything start to work. So we have uh, four options right here: diagnosis, DTC, lookup, tool setup, and help. So I'm gonna go to tool setup, and right now I'm gonna show you the only two things we have is the measurements. So we have metric and imperial measurements. Um, we use metric in USA. So uh, right here, uh, you can change the language to, that's the only two options we have in that section. So, and the built-in quality is very good. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's a small, it fits in one hand. So it has the operation up, down, back, and okay. So right now we're gonna go to the diagnosed section and we're gonna that hit okay. So we'll wait. So I had to uh, forward the video. Uh, while you know, you have to wait sometimes that connects to the computer and you can see different parameter parameter here. We can uh, see different information. So right here, we say okay, because that's the information that you just saw previously. It was the information of this computer. And then you have many different options and tests right here. So it has a built-in, I mean, auto sensor test uh, we have read codes in this case i have a check engine lights you can erase code check check the emission test and data stream it has live data that's pretty impressive for the kind of price you pay it has freeze frame um, codes so this is im test and you can see all the options right here and the reason why i wanted to make this video clear so you uh, have a pretty good idea if you decide to buy this to keep it spare on your car glove box and let's say you're driving and you have uh, these uh, check engine lights come on uh, the best thing you have to do is stop on the side of the road and run at this test and that way you take a decision if you get it tow or you keep driving because sometimes the, you don't know what it is you see the light and you keep driving maybe you shouldn't be doing that so as you can see right here, I have a code, a check engine, a check engine light, and then it is pretty fast that you can see you read the code, it was P0328. So, and it say here is my knock sensor. And yes, I confirmed that I just replaced the knock sensor and I'm using this uh, scanner to delete the check engine lights because sometimes they don't, it, it doesn't go by itself. You have to delete it. So we're gonna do that and it give you the right information right on time when you need it um as you can see i'm gonna hit um 
uh, I'm gonna, this is the information about the, uh, the code. I'll give you a, a brief description of what the problem is. And, but it give you enough information that you have an idea what's going on. So what I will do right now, I'm gonna proceed and I go to the next option. So <clears throat> I'm coming in again because I want you to read, you know, how much information I give you about, about the problem. And if there is more information that you can read, you can keep pressing down and see the rest of the information I have to tell you. So in this case, that's the only information it gave me. So I'm gonna go to erase the code and all you need to do is, uh, you know, put the, the switch on the ignition and, you know, and hit clear the code. So I reset the code. It gives you some instructions on what you have to do. As I say, put the key, uh, put it in the on position, you know, of the ignition, but don't turn the car on and just hit clear. And the code has been deleted right now. So as you can see, that's pretty quick. It is okay. By the way, if you want to know the company that makes this uh, this uh, basic OVD2 scanner is Lounge. And that company has been there in the market for a little while. So it's a pretty good company. So right now, we're gonna proceed to do, uh, what we're gonna proceed to do next is gonna, we're gonna keep checking. And right now there is no code, see? And now we're gonna go to the option, the DTC lookup. This is like our little library. Like for example, a friend uh, has their scanner and give you a call and tell you, hey, look, can you help me with this? You have an idea what this code is and remember the code we find is p0328 so same thing you can look it up the code is not in my car anymore but i can still look for any code that somebody give you uh you you can find reference in this and ddc uh, look up so i'm gonna connect again to the uh, car computer as you can see it run a scan of different computers until they find a compatible one so now I'm gonna come into the um, IM test, which is for the is the test for the emissions, and there is a lot of information here that we're gonna see. We're gonna do the this drive, and then <clears throat> we're gonna try to connect. So this car doesn't support that option. So I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go to the next option. So when you test your car, you turn on the car and make sure all these things are okay you turn on the vehicle and you will see all these fuel um mis uh cat with a zoom that is the catalytic incorporate uh, say ink so it is there so everything is working fine and uh, pretty much you'll see okay if there is a problem you will see it right there so if you see everything is okay it means that you'll pass the mission there is no doubt of that so uh, we're gonna go to live data right now and there is many different um, abbreviations like a fuel system fuel system 2 uh, load the load of ga gasoline and stuff like that uh, it tells you about the map sensor the map uh, the airflow sensor and all the stuff you can see the rpm live right there how many rpms are is running the engine without accelerating and when you accelerating when i accelerate right now you will see it will increase uh you see it increased more um i got the car on right now as you can see it cell accelerate the rpm so this is basic functions i'm not gonna stop one by one and explain the all if you want to know more i recommend you to go to um either ebay or a website that they can sell you the service manual there is a big difference between uh service manual and and owner manual owner manual doesn't tell you not how to fix your car you always want to look for the service manual of your car model okay this has been all for this review thank you for watching i hope you find the video useful and take a decision to buy your scanner thank you so much see you next time